hello and welcome guys here I'm gonna share with you my paladin build which I focus on HP and defense so I'll just go straight to it okay so you can see without any buffs I have no food buffs no nothing I have a hundred sixty five thousand HP and 1366 defense and how I got that is with my build here my equipment will here I have a mirror shield the goibin set it's really important that you get a defense and max H maximum HP percentage enchanted attribute in here, I have a Peko Peko card that adds 10% HP. At the Spalders, I have here 8.8% max HP. I put in a Pupa Star card, adds 5% defense. For the shoes, I have damage reduction. A Ferris card, this is really good to add 10% HP. And I have Vitality Necklaces which I slotted has really good attributes here I put in a spore card that has vitality 2 and here I have the premium card which, add, which is really good that adds like 2 to all attributes well it's important that you get the vitality necklace and you don't uh, upgrade it to the endurance because if you do it's gonna be really expensive to slot it so I recommend just getting the Vite necklace. Okay, next the uh, helmet. I'm using the Goibin. Adds 3.7 healing increase. Mardu card is very important. Like if you're tanking, a lot of the bosses is gonna give you silence and you can't do anything. So you're gonna have either Panakia or this. So can't be bothered using the Panak. So I'm using the Mardu. Next. Frost Masquerade ma Mask, which is, uh, yeah, pretty good to 23 defense. Spike Scar, which adds Vitality and Death. I have Death here. Mistletoe, which is really good because of the max HP and the 5 attributes. And this is, well, I got lucky and had like a 6.9% max HP. This is really good. And then this is pretty important. If you can get a cardo, slot it and save up for your Sting, Sting Star card. With this, I could get 20% defense. It's important, to, like, if you're st starting out, get a cardo. Don't get a green steel pipe because it's really, really, really expensive to slot it. I am on the way to slot this green steel, but it's very expensive. So with this build and equipment, I have around this defense. Oh yeah, forgot my stats. Vitality and intelligence. Why? Because you're gonna need that for. Sorry. Vitality adds HP and defense. Intelligence can add. Ma magic defense so it's gonna be really important for your ETs and for my runes wait hold on here I have for my runes defense 10% max HP 8% and defense 9, 29% so yeah and if I have food buff let me show you how much I can get Okay, with this, with a level 5 food buff, I get extra 240 defense and magic defense. And I have now 1700 defense. 
And if I have uh, if I have bit meal B, sorry, yeah, bit meal B. My HP is 178,000. Defense, 1,718. Okay, for our skills, it's important that you get defense up. So here, taunt is what you really need for your tanking. Endure, 10. Increase recuperation, 15. Because if you use pot, it's gonna really help you by getting 75% more. And then here, auto guard, shield chain, divine protection, here shield boom, level 15, which adds 300 points to your defense, reflect shield, Ret uh, retribution, bless, and faith. Well, that's it for skills. Oh yeah, I also have a pet savage babe, which adds more defense here. I believe it's like around, yeah, 32 defense. So if you want to have a pet, get this pig. Okay, so 1,700. And if I hit it with a shield boom. 2,100. And if I have a high priest with me, yep, and my defense goes up really high, 2300. And let's see that with the shield boom. Yes, 2900, almost 3000. Magic defense, 1100. So I hope you like my build, I hope it helps you and if you do uh, like my video, maybe I'll share some more soon. Thank you very much for watching.